Soapbox. I am your host, Mickey Angeline. Today's show I'm excited to talk about because it has to do with art here in Sacramento. But before I introduce my lovely guest, we would like to give a shout out to our wonderful sponsors. Pieces, by, Pieces Pizza by the Slice, including low-fat, vegan, and gluten-free options, as well as a fine selection of beer, wine, and soft drinks. We thank them for supplying pizza for the whole crew here. They are located at 1309 21st Street in Sacramento at 916-441-1949. Also, the Humor Times bills itself as the world's funniest news source. The monthly political humor magazine is available worldwide by subscription, in print, or digital format. Subscription info along with cartoons, funny fake news, videos, and more info can be found at humortimes.com, 916 Four five five one two one seven, and also sponsored by Doctors Clinic for Men, Sacramento's only clinic devoted to the treatment of erectile dysfunction. For more information, go to sacdc4m.com or call nine one six four eight two five two zero zero. Plus, don't forget to check out archives of past shows on our new YouTube channel. Just go to youtube.com and type Soapbox Sacramento in the, search, in the search bar. So, welcome to our show. I want to introduce my lovely guest and great friend, Christina Marie, the executive director of the Capital Indie Collective. Welcome to the show, Christina. Thank you for having me, Mickey. Absolutely. This is going to be exciting because we get to talk about art. Yes, art. Art. So, <laughs> give our viewers a little insight on what exactly is the Capital Indie Collective. Well, the Capital Indie Collective takes the visual, performing, and commercial arts and places them under the umbrella of the film and music communities here in the Sacramento Sierra region. We're trying to build infrastructure for the region and training, on-the-job training, um, education, networking, and basically what we do is we take artists and turn them into entrepreneurs. That's beautiful. And <laughs> now Sacramento, of course, chock full of artists talented yes, people. You've absolutely. been doing this for quite some time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give us a little background, not just, you know. Don't tell everybody. Well, you know. <laughs> I mean, because Capital Indie Collective has been around for how long? Uh, Capital Indie will be five years old in July. Congratulations. Thank you. We're going to celebrate that anniversary really soon. Yes, yes. We're having a big birthday bash in July, and wow. um, we hope to do a capital campaign. So hopefully... We will raise enough money to revise our new residence at Clara Midtown. That's right. Clara, congratulations on that. That is a lovely building. Yeah. A lot of history. A lot of art. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and it's, it's really interesting. You know, the city is taking these assets of these schools that can no longer be used as regular schools because of the, I believe it's the Field Act. And they're converting them to these public-private partnerships. And Clara Midtown is the first of its kind to do exactly what it's doing in the nation. And um, we're just glad to be a part of it, that we get to be, we're actually the last tenant um, with all the other performing arts entities there. So we're looking forward to doing a lot of digital media and right. collaborations and just kind of creating some magic. Oh, yes. I mean, I took a tour of it. And beautiful it is it's, it's historic it's old brick building and i i know i told you this i had the feeling of fame yeah anyone remember that show fame i do based from the movie <laughs> remember, remember, remember remember oh yes it just it just like <laughs> came back and, and we walked around not just where capital indie collective will be right but the other the other arts that you discussed they yeah. had um they've got six other tenants okay so uh you've got sacramento ballet the McKeever's Irish School of Dance, um, the Sacramento Preparatory Music Academy, Capital Stage Theater Company, Alliance Francaise, and am I missing one? French. I'm missing one. Mm -hmm, the French, <laughs> French lessons, Brazilian. right? Wasn't there a the Brazilians, yes. The, Braz yes. Uh, the Brazilian Center for Cultural Exchange of Sacramento. So much diverse culture in just one building. Yes, and if that's not enough, yeah. we're bringing Sac Cirque with us, so we're bringing the circus to town. Sac Cirque. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about Sac Cirque. They are a media mentee, which is a capital indie collective program, and we are helping them become, you know, incorporated their own nonprofit, and they perform pretty much everything that you've seen at a circus except for, like, the animals. 
So, you know, you've got slack line folks, you've got uh, fire spinners and jugglers and eaters and breathers and dancers and twirlers and um, silk performers like Cirque du Soleil. Oh, yeah. And um, I remember seeing that. I was with you. Um, yeah. You know, Feast on the Street. Feast in the Street. That was we just incredible. Did. Yeah. They come with all their own props, set it all up, and bam, instant circus. Yeah, on a 30 foot rig. Like yeah, that was kind of creepy. Defying gravity. Yeah, and they didn't have a whole lot if they fell. They didn't fall. No, there's no net. There no, was no. cement. No, yeah. yeah. They are totally talented. Staunch professionals. They know what they're doing. And Jenna Elkington is the, the leader there. She is amazing with her team. Um, I've trained with her, actually. She's, really? Yes. She's been training me a little bit here and there as an nice. acrobat. Nice. <laughs> Does this mean we'll get to see Christina doing a little silk work in the future? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> that would be fabulous. I think you would be great. Actually, there's a performance coming up that okay. I will be emceeing All right. on uh, Thursday. And that's the 30th, right? Oh, yeah. The 29th, 30th. Yeah. Okay. Um, over at... Um, I have to think of the name of the club. Mm. <laughs> it, just, it just left my head. You're like, bam. <laughs> but yeah, if you go on to our website, capitalindiecollective.org, we have information there. Right. Um, the performance is called Cabinet of Curiosities. Oh, I like that. So, yeah. Cabinets of Curiosities. It's mm. going to be really great. Um, they performed at this place a couple other times, okay. and um, they just packed the house. Are it you is referring to downtown? Yeah. Badlands? Yes, Badlands. Ah, yes. <laughs> the corner of K and 20. Yeah. That's actually a really good location because of the two story. Yes. With the, the balcony at the top, and you can look down. So it's great viewing for anyone that shows up. Oh, and they hang the silks, I think, all the way to the ceiling, which they is do. like 50 feet That's crazy. off the ground. And Jenna goes all the way up, and she does this like do -do 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 thing to the bottom where everybody is just like, oh, you know. I think she's going to hit and bam. Yeah, yeah, That's awesome. but she she doesn't <laughs> not yet. Anyway, she hasn't. So, so then, Sax Circ are one of uh, I, I'm guessing a few um, companies artists that yes the CIC mentors. Correct. Yes, we've we've also been we for the last three years we've been mentoring the Sacramento Asian Pacific Film Festival. Wonderful, and, and that just happened. That just happened in May, yeah. and they're doing marvelous. They're expanding the event for next year, and that's all part of the, um, the new Asian Pacific Cultural Center that's growing in town. So that's going to be a really interesting business to follow coming up. Um, we also have the Dysphoria Project that we are mentoring, and um, that is our body image project that we're trying to get to Burning Man. Ah, the fat shaming, <laughs> right? Topics. Um, to well, be it's... more proud of who you are and not... Right? It's, it's really more about just being happy whatever size you are. Right. So it, it doesn't matter, you know, if, if you're bigger or smaller. it's an anti-body shaming sort of project. In yeah. Just, just embrace who you are. It's, it's Everybody really, yeah. Everybody's beautiful. Like, I'm okay, you're okay, together yeah. we're okay. Yeah. I don't have to envy you, you don't have to envy me. Beautiful. So I think once you can identify with something you really like about yourself, which, you know, as women, that can be difficult. Right. Because, oh my gosh, yes. You know, we're marketed Still, to. Still, to this day, right? Oh. Always. I mean, okay, so, because we're going to yeah. get into that. But, you know, um, as far as art activism, touch on that and, and how we can make a difference with that. Oh, wow, there's right? so much we can do, really. I mean, all these projects that we mentor, we're, we're teaching not necessarily about art activism, but what you can do to tell your story. That's our theme this year with Capital Indie. Um, we want people to look at their art and or what they do you know whether you're a chef or um, you know a magician or whatever you do right? right and and think what is my story what do i want to say today with what i'm doing and that it, in itself can be art activism so um you know with being heavy into digital media we have a huge responsibility about messaging. Oh, yes. Here we go. <laughs> this is a very, yes. Here's the hot topic. This is right? the hot topic. Let's get into that one. Okay. So, <laughs> because we discussed this off the air, because you and I, we're good friends, and mm -hmm. I happen to be a board a member. A board member. <laughs> um, I just all, roped you in. It's just, right, you roped me in. All the, uh, the digital vomiting, I would call it, oh, of emotional dumping. Yeah. Right? No thought, just type and send. Right. And majority of it being so negative. Right. Um, Facebook alone, I've already, I can't tell you how many people I've had to block, unfollow, take out of my newsfeed, because the majority of what they're posting is just negative. Yeah. FML, we all know what that stands for. For those who don't know. Don't say it. 
you know, um, my life sucked today. I couldn't believe this happened. And, and, and that's what they feel the need to status. Right. You and I believe we should do it. We, we need to like overcome that with positive content, messages of love, messages, affirmations, right? I try yeah. to do that at least with my social media, my, my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I think what, I mean, what Capital Any tries to teach with our media mentoring program is how to consume all that media, what to do with all that digital media. I mean, it's just like food. If you ate pizza and beer every day, three meals a day, you would probably be bloated and, and not feeling too well and right. maybe an alcoholic, you know. Um, if you consume Facebook or Twitter or YouTube constantly as your only diet of digital media, your brain is going to feel the same way as you would on pizza and beer for three meals a day. So, That's a good analogy. I like that. Thank you. Because um, I've felt that way lately. Yeah, and it can, it can be very abusive. Um, you know, as a digital media professional, I represent several companies online now. I do their social media. And, you know, as I'm putting out their material, I've got that feed going by, just going nah, 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 the whole time. Yeah. And I mean, people make fun of me because I don't know, I don't know how to tweet. Okay. Hashtag ha ha. <laughs> you do not know how to tweet. I mean, I tweet, I'm but I'm just like, you. I'm like, oh, it's, I, I have too many words to squish into, was it 23 characters? 140. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm, I'm more, I live more through like the Facebook and Instagram. I do participate in Twitter, but I'm, I'm watching mostly kind of going, ah, I don't know how to participate as well as you do. Yay. Um, but it's, it's hard for me, I think, to digest just that constant feed that scrolls through of like, you know, this person got shot, this person got shot, this person got shot, this person died, this person got shot. And it's just, it's that same one person. But I had to hear about it 30, 40, 50 times because my friends went, oh, share button. Oh, it's so sad. Yes. You know, and so it's, it's really like this kind of like Chinese water torture technique of the bad news. Right. And then when you have something positive, like, I mean, the baby pictures are a great example, right? I love my friends with babies right now. Here we go. <laughs> because it's like, you know, baby just sat up, baby smiled, freckles in the baby, baby drink, you know, babies are awesome. And it's just like, and then you get kind of like baby fatigue, right? <laughs> I like that baby fatigue. Well, the videos too. <laughs> yeah, the videos. Um, one thing I think is really irresponsible right now are the social media experiment or the social experiment videos where they'll go, Elaborate. they'll take actors and they'll go to um, a very public place and like they'll have a, a male actor berating a female actor. That one, those ones. Yeah. And then she's just like not doing anything and like, oh, and, and, and he, she's getting abused in public and the general public doesn't know it's theater. And so they don't know what to do, and they just kind of watch until somebody has enough guts to be like, hey, hey, dude, no, you can't do that. Right. And they almost like start a fight. And just as they're about to come to blows, they're like, oh, ha, ha just kidding. It's, it's yes. a human experiment. But see, isn't this wrong? The rest of you should have got up and done something. Why didn't yes. you? Yes. Or like the one with the guy with the homelessness, and he the money, and... and That's dude, another and one. Get, right. Yeah. And you, you know, don't even know how real they are, but it just... It's scary because with our ADD nation... You know, these videos are about five minutes long with the educational piece coming at minute four, five. <laughs> right. So you get three minutes of woman being berated. And that's the message we're putting across. And that's the branding they get. Yeah. And it gets shared 30 times. Yeah. And our 13-year-old boys get to see women being berated. Oh, that's how we treat women in public. And you are all about that information, Miss Feminist, yes? Yeah. <laughs> I am in not a positive into, manner. yeah, I don't like negative messaging for women, obviously. Um, I don't think any of my male friends like negative ima you know, imagery for women either. But that's what they use to sell. That's, that's the part I'm not, to this day, really. I mean, well, you, yeah. you're in film. Right. And there was a piece you had discussed about, um, there was, oh, I can't remember her name, but the statistics with, even in film, how it, mm -hmm. um, what sells. What oh, yeah. Ads storylines and it's always right. women as strippers and women that are crackhead babies babies and women who need men they always make it subjugating women yes yeah to this day yeah. it's 2016 and we're still seeing it yeah i mean that's there's a reason why there's an old adage that sex sells 
Yeah. You know, because they use sex to sell things in the industry. Right. And they use and other now, things too. And now with it being digital media, because, you know, in the 60s and the 70s, when it was simply billboards or commercials on TV, however far they would do that. Right. Now you're just unindated with it in your newsfeed on any social media site. Exactly. So where you're sort of numb to it. Well, and the cat's like. And then you like, accept it subconsciously. The cat's further out of the bag, I would say, too, with in the 70s. Right, it was, you know, hair parted down the middle, maybe a triangle bikini top and jeans in the ad. Now you've got, you know, a thong <laughs> in the ad with, you know, big hair and makeup and, and implants. And, you know, it's, it's like things have just gotten so far out of control, spinning one way. It's, I think it's our responsibility collectively as a society to kind of bring it back a little bit yeah. and say, you know what? We don't need to sell everything with boobs. Right. You know? And boobs are okay. Right. Like, nipples are okay. Like, <laughs> men have nipples. Did you know that? Yeah. <laughs> Did you know? I didn't know that. Did you know that? Yeah. No, yeah. Of course, right? right. They're natural. And yeah. I mean, you know, 15 years ago, when I, I, I have a daughter and I breastfed her in public, I never had any problem whatsoever. I knew that was coming up. I just knew that was coming up, yeah. And, and now, between all these like um, sensitivity alerts and spoiler alerts and nipple alerts, I think we've taught our millennials that you can't breastfeed in public, which is insane. Like, how are you ever supposed to feed your baby in this society? Like, are you just supposed to stay home the whole time until the baby's like two years so now, old? what do you think propagates that? Like, why do you think that's the message? Because... You know, with, we keep talking about how with the, the poor content of online. I think it's it exactly that. specifics as to what, why, what's so bad about it. Like, you can cover up. They make things like that if, if it bothers people. Yeah. But, I don't know. I breastfed my daughter in public, but I did, got covered. Oh, well, sure. I mean, you're not going to be like, hey, everybody. You know? But there are women that do that, and I remember seeing something about that. And that's well, that might be a backlash to all the stuff that's yeah, happening. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, I think that's what it is. Social media and instant you know, connection and YouTube, it's, it's like one opinion and the backlash and the backlash and the backlash. Instead of somebody just going, you know what, here's, here's what we're going to talk about today. And we're going to be respectful and within these lines and parameters right. and be nice to each other. I think that's gone. Yeah. It's just my opinion and then my opinion's bigger than my opinion's biggest. And then my opinion's like, okay, maybe it's not biggest, but I'm going to hate on you until you go away. <laughs> you know? You're so animated. So let me ask you then, being that you're so passionate about it, where does CIC come into play with, the, with what you have to offer? Okay. For the mentoring? So now that we're at Clara, right? Yay! Yay. Um, we are partnering with the school district okay. um, as part of our lease. That's one of our obligations to uh, teach kids our craft of what we do. So, like the ballet is offering ballet lessons. You know, we're offering basically we're taking digital media arts and putting it into STEM, creating full steam ahead. We're going to have these kids making creative videos about what they're learning in STEM. And they're going to compete online for prizes from sponsors like Intel or Sony or Apple. Yeah, it's, it's going to teach kids that you can make a fun video. Sure, it's about education. You can learn something. And it can still be fun and engaging and get your friends involved. You know, you don't have to make a video of you beating up your friends in the alleyway for attention. You don't have yes, to do that. It's still are out there. Yeah. Goodness it's, gracious. it's ridiculous. And everyone shares that like millions of times. Yeah. Millions of times. I mean, I'm really into more like the fusion arts. So, you Bring know. Bring that back. <laughs> so fusion arts, you know, you take like digital media, right? Mm -hmm. You could do anything with digital media, right? Whether it's podcasting, TV, video, right. films. I mean, anything. If you name two totally ridiculously disconnected things right now, I can tell you how you could use digital media to bring those things together and make it awesome. Are you telling me to give you two ridiculous things? Maybe. So like paper clips and beanstalks? Paper clips and beanstalks. Yes. Absolutely. We're going to get Office Depot. Here we go. <laughs> to sponsor a simulated 
Jack and the Beanstalk climb. We're going to involve the farm to fork movement in this. Here we go. You are so good. Here we go. <laughs> and it's going to be a contest. Um, you know, what kind of camera rigging can you build out of paper clips? And uh, for your cell phone, you know, maybe, maybe we get GoPro involved and we make these paper clip rigs that you know swing around some gopros with i don't know i mean that's no that's that's creative yeah you just have to think outside the box right and which is what cic is known for yeah thinking outside of the box we smash things together and see what happens and so if you tell a kid like hey um you're gonna have to learn math today you know unless they're really into math they're gonna be like uh no right. but if you tell them hey um we're gonna calculate the arc of a professional soccer ball player or soccer player's kick on a soccer ball or we would like some sort of trajectory work you know and we're going to film it and you're going to get to meet uh, republic fc players Ooh. and we're going to do this 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 i mean all of a sudden they're like math class is awesome right you know right i would learn physics i would, I would be way more into math if we did that in school <laughs> So yeah. that's just one of the many things that the Capital Indie Collective will offer. It can be, yeah. yeah. And there's, I mean, we want to do things like, um, one of the things I'm excited to launch is my digital media watercoloring project. Ooh. Watercoloring painting thing. So basically you'll be making watercolor paintings and using stop motion photography to record the whole thing. Ooh. Um, so it'll look like these videos that paint themselves before <gasps> your very eyes. And they're just yours to share on YouTube or whatever, you know. I don't, whatever. There's no rights owned by the CIC or anything like that. We just want to put some more beauty out there in video and see what happens. Oh my gosh, I love it. So then those watching mm -hmm. are interested yeah. because I know not only can you come and just enjoy it per class, but you can also do a membership, correct? Yeah. For more information about membership, they can go to capitalindiecollective.org. Perfect. And look at all the benefits there. Uh, a large majority of our classes and meetings are open and free to Capital Indie members. Right. Uh, but the general public, we welcome and, and encourage to come oh, in. Absolutely, definitely. So, and there's usually a small class fee for that. Absolutely. And, you know, because it is a nonprofit organization. And the beauty about Capital Indie Collective being at Clara is that they also can check out the neighbors. Absolutely. So, you know, it's, it's a community effort. So then you've got some events, in fact, coming up in July, right? Yes. Because of the five-year anniversary. So you've got... Art Soup, Naked Movie Wednesdays, The Political Debates, and The Birthday Bash and Feminism in August. So give us a little background on those. So. Okay, so which one do you want to start with? Art Soup. That's the, okay. the first one coming up, right? Okay, yes. Art Soup is coming up. We're going to be doing Art Soup every second Saturday. Okay. And um, it's our way of modeling after Detroit Soup. Have you heard of Detroit Soup? I haven't. So you're going to educate me a lot on art, because, <laughs> and I'm excited about that, so... So um, in Detroit, they had, you know, obviously the economy left and they were completely decimated. And the community that stayed was thinking, how are we going to keep arts and innovation and science and, and you know, any kind of attractive thing <laughs> in Detroit? And they got together and they started potlucking. And they charged everybody um, like 10 bucks. And they... Um, came together and just said, here, take the money for the night. And they, they, they voted on pitches, and the winner took the money for the night. Wow. And so that's what we're doing here. Perfect. Okay. Basically, you, you eat, you vote, you fund, repeat, every second Saturday. Wow. Food, art, that's awesome, repeat. Naked Movie Wednesdays. So Naked Movie Wednesdays are actually sponsored by Naked Coffee. They're independent films, Downtown shorts, Sacramento. features. And um, we are holding that every Wednesday. Nice. Because it's hump day. <laughs> it is. Wednesday is hump day. It is. It's the middle of the week. <laughs> and basically, you get to come down and learn about the film or the short um, from the actual filmmaker. That's amazing. So they get to watch the film, mm -hmm. and then they have, can do a Q&A afterwards with the, the person who directed the film. Yes. Wonderful. You also have, okay, political debates. I'm more interested in the birthday bash and the feminism. Cause, cause we're gonna have birthday bash is just our, our annual fundraiser for the bricks and sticks that we talked about earlier. And then the feminism summit, that is actually really interesting. Um, there's an organization called Feminism that is coming to Clara, and we're doing this big summit, inviting huge speakers to come and just celebrating women. And the idea that if you win, I win. If Absolutely. I win, you I win. love that. Supporting women in what we do. And it's open to everyone, not just women. Mm -hmm. It's for everyone to learn how some of the really great women 
in in Sacramento coming together and what they have to go. So, yeah. um, okay. so no, I have to say I wanted to thank you very much. Thank for you for being here on the show and educating us about art in our community. Again, make sure to go to the website at capitalindiecollective.org for more information on Capital Indie Collective, of course, and also to remind you that we are now on YouTube. So you just go to the youtube.com and put Soapbox Sacramento in the search box. So, yeah. Great. Absolutely. I can't wait to see more of this show on YouTube. Right, absolutely. <laughs> and I can't wait to do more of these shows that are going to be in July, of course, for uh, Capital Indie Collective, especially the feminism, I have to say, I'm excited about, and the art soup. That's yeah. going to be great. So Definitely. And we want to thank you again for joining us here at uh, Soapbox. I am your host, Mickey Angeline. Until the next time. You're so awesome. <laughs> I just love it. This is no, this is great. Susan, but not smart. You lived your life so much in fantasy that reality never had a chance. I want to be free. I want to be free. I want to be free. I want to be free.